Hi, I'm Shy Guy from Portland.net. Today we'll be looking at the ROG Strix Car 2 GL704, which features Intel latest 8th gen processor and also the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 graphics. So, as you may have noted in our review, the temperatures were a little bit high, so today we'll be looking at whether we can solve it via repasting. So, to test the thermal performance of this laptop, we run rear bench for 15 minutes and even with the maximum fan speed, we are looking at temperatures of around 96 Celsius on the CPU, the maximum temperatures, and 87 Celsius on the GPU. Which uh, on the GPU is fine, but on the CPU is a bit worrying, I would say. When the fans ramp up to maximum speeds, it's quite loud. And despite with that kind of performance going through the fans, right, we are still looking at pretty seriously high temperatures. For example, we are looking, after running 15 minutes of rear bench, we are looking at 96 on the CPU at maximum and also 87 on the GPU. The GPU is fine, but the CPU is seriously quite worrying. And just to give you an idea of how loud these fans go at maximum speed, I will start the benchmark now. And you will hear it ramp up. So yeah, it's ramping up. Ramping up. I think it's about the maximum now. Watch it. So yeah, as the benchmark goes on, the temperatures climb, and when the temperatures climb, so does the fan speed increase in response. But apparently that is not enough, which is why we will be repasting this laptop to see whether we can improve the thermal performance of this laptop. So this is the bottom of the laptop. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 screws, which we'll be taking off right now. So yeah, the screws might be of different length. Are they of different length? Yeah, they're of different length. You can see that there's longer one and shorter one here. So make sure you place them separately so that you do not try and put the long ones and the short ones. And it will not just it just won't work. Like. So all the screws are out and yeah, clips. So I have taken apart my GL544, which is I buy a bit more familiar with this. And right now we are looking at one, two, three, four, five heat pipes. Exactly the same as the GL504 actually. So we are not looking at any more here, which is kind of surprising because this is a larger laptop. And there should be more space for cooling and looks like Isuzu did not take advantage of that. For the screws, you have the numbers actually. There is, uh, where is the one? There is one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the GPU, this is the CPU, we'll be cleaning it with alcohol or swipes clean. You can see the NVIDIA logo, Intel does not put their logo on their GPU, on their CPU die, so you can't see any logo here. Gonna give you one more wipe. And then we apply the Cooler Masters Master Gel Maker, which is their top of the line thermal paste, and the one we use for all our cooler reviews. And we have it here, Master Gel Maker, and we're gonna apply. Basically, because it's going to be a low pressure application, we are not going to use the single dot application which might not give very good coverage. So we're applying a bit more. And it doesn't really matter because it's non-conductive. It will not cause any shorts even if you overflow. But of course, with thermal paste, uh, as thin as possible is the best way to go. It should be enough. So with that applied, we'll be closing it back again and hoping for the best. So after finishing the repasting, we actually did not see an improvement. As compared to our previous ROG Strix Car 2 repaste, we actually got a pretty decent improvement. So this time around, we assume ASUS actually improved on their thermal compound, allowing it to perform on the same level as a master gel maker. So to try and push the temperatures down further, we actually went and downloaded Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. So with Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility, we will be undervolting the laptop. And if you have ever any experience with undervolting, you would know that undervolting is sort of like a silicon lottery, something like overclocking, whereby certain laptops and certain chipsets will just perform less. So yeah, on our laptop here, our sample here, we managed to get 0.095 volt reduction, which is pretty good. And we had this reduction in voltage, we actually did not see a thermal reduction in temperatures, but we saw a reduction in throttling. So 
Instead of the CPU running at around 3300 on average throughout the 15 minutes of rear bench, this time we managed to see around 3500 MHz, which is a 200 MHz improvement, not a big deal, but if you actually do like rendering workloads and all that where you have to text the processor over a long time, this will actually come into play. So yeah. So I think to conclude, the ROG Strix Car 2 does not need you to void the warranty to replace it. All you need to do is download Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. Uh, we will put the link down below and just underwork your laptop. We would recommend you starting with uh, let's say uh, 0.05 volt uh, reduction for starters and do benchmarks so that you can assure, assure whether it's stable and go on from there. Of course. Sometimes you may just run into something that is stable in one benchmark and not in another, but yeah, that's up to you to play. So I think that's all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something today. So thank you. Goodbye.